Hello, I'm John Shepherd, and in this short video, we're going to take a look at some drills at using mats that you can do to improve your long jump takeoff. The takeoff is obviously crucial to the long jump, and the positioning of the final three steps in particular is crucial when it comes to optimizing your distance and transition across the board whilst maintaining maximal or optimal horizontal velocity and gaining vertical lift generating vertical velocity as well at the point of takeoff. To achieve optimum distance in the long jump, the jump needs to be set up and a specific series of movements is required over the final three steps as indicated. Now, if you've been watching our other videos, you'll see that we often place a mat on the penultimate step. This is to develop greater takeoff power rather than develop the technical side, although of course it will have a relevance. The drills that are coming up later in this video utilise two mats as you're seeing now and these are the ones that I use to develop specifically the technique for the takeoff. In this image you can see the ideal foot placements for the final three steps coming into the takeoff. Image one shows the third to last step and there should be minimal bend at the knee. Image two shows the penultimate step where there will be a slightly greater drop of two to three centimeters. And image three shows the takeoff. The foot should be under the hips and the free leg ready to swing forwards into the jump. And this is achieved by the correct setup of the jump on the preceding strides. If you do it right, you should feel that you're being pulled off of the takeoff. So here we see Sarah running into the mats in order to develop her takeoff rhythm. On the toes, dropping down onto a flat foot on the penultimate, leading with the heel through into the takeoff. And as I've mentioned, the free thigh should move quickly and without much effort into the takeoff. So here's Sarah doing the same again from another angle. And you can see the drive off of the board and the free leg being held parallel to the ground as she moves very directly and purposefully up off of the takeoff and into the air. Now, if you were to try this without setting up the jump as I've been talking about, you won't really be able to do it because everything is going to happen too late. The movement for the takeoff stride is created on the previous two steps and this is what gives you the momentum off of the takeoff. Setting up the jump the way I've described will, as I've indicated, allow for maximal or optimal speed to be transferred into the takeoff and the jump. It will also elevate the centre of mass more than just running through the takeoff. Also, it will give the jumper the opportunity to develop that takeoff drive, which I talk about in various videos, i.e., delaying going to the hitch kick or the hang too soon after the takeoff. The jumper on the screen now, Henry, is just learning the long jump and this was one of the first times that he began to get the rhythm and hold his position off of the takeoff. So I'd say that the mats in this particular instance were really beneficial in him developing the rhythm and the positioning required. Sarah, on the other hand, is much more experienced in taking off and the use of the drills and, of course, with her hitch kick technique. So we manipulate the spacing of the mats in order to develop different jump takeoff outcomes. For example, early on in this session we position the mats slightly too close so that the jumper would have to move more quickly into the takeoff to generate hopefully more takeoff speed, which on some occasions Sarah in particular had difficulty controlling. Everything else being equal, the quicker the takeoff, the greater the jump distance that will be achieved. So, how do you start using mat drills? Well, initially, you don't need to use a too long a run up. Just position the mats as indicated and run through them. So, if you're a right footed jumper, it'll be right foot on the first mat, left foot on the track, and right foot to take off. Try to ignore that they're there and just run through driving up into the takeoff. Crucially, 
Don't lower your hips unnecessarily on the second to last stride. Doing that will slow down your velocity into the takeoff. Although Henry had to slow slightly, you can still see that he's beginning to get the movement, and this was after a good period of time not being able to do so. In conjunction with the other takeoff work that we do, I believe that the mats in particular have developed in him the ability now to get a much better takeoff position. Yes, there's more work to be done, but we're getting there. And I found these drills to work with most of the other jumpers that I've coached. If you study this image here, you'll get an indication of the spacing of the mats for a medium length approach run of 9 to 13 stroke 14 steps. The marks by the mats are one meter apart. You should include these drills all training year round. Don't just wait to close to the indoor season or the outdoor season to start doing them. You need to perfect your transition into the takeoff and through using these types of drills and others and of course doing lots of run up work you'll be in the best position to be able to jump the furthest that you can achieve. As usual, do subscribe to the channel and leave any comments you may have in the section below or through my other social media. And of course, good luck with your training and competitions. Carried away a little bit and I ended up producing this, which is the Jumper magazine. Many of you have asked me about my training philosophy and whether I'd write anything down regarding that and also perhaps share some of my thoughts on other subject matter pertaining to the long and triple jump and sprints. I produced a magazine, a digital magazine format. Located within the document are also some videos that illustrate some of the topics that I've been writing about. To get a hold of this, all you need to do is go to the link in the description of this video and click on it and it will download as a web document initially onto your iPad, tablet, phone, computer but you're also able to download it as a PDF and the links will still work. Potentially I'll do another Jumper magazine when I've got the time and it will be good to have your support so we can really grow it into a great resource for the Jumps community.